Hey everyone, this is Cheyenne. Welcome to this session of Rhino Software Training. First, use the Polygon command. After entering the command, set the Sides option to 8 and click on the Star option. Then, use the Polygon command again. After selecting the starting point, set the mode option to circumscribed and draw a larger polygon around the previous one. Now, move this polygon vertically using the gumball. Hold down the Alt key and create a vertical copy of this polygon with the gumball. Select the new polygon and use the rotate function in gumball, setting the rotation value to 360 divided by 16. Next, enter the 3D face command. In the command options, set output to sub D and mode to multi faces. Now, as you can see, draw these sub D surfaces accordingly. Once you're done drawing these sub D surfaces, use the crease command and select all the sub D faces you've created to sharpen their edges. Now, use the array polar command and create 8 copies of the sub D object around the zero axis. Select all the objects and press Ctrl plus J to join them. Make sure that after joining, in the command options, set sub D joint edges to crease. Next, use the orient 3 point command to mirror the object. To do this, first set copy to yes in the command options, then pick 3 reference points and 3 target points. Now, select all the objects again and join them like before. Go to the topmost part of the object, hold down Ctrl plus Shift, and select the inner corners at the top. Use the gumball to move them downward. Use the select curve command to select all curves, then press delete to remove them. At this stage, let's smooth out all the sharp edges of the sub D. Use the sub decrease command, Select all the sub D object's edges, press enter, and set a percentage for the softening effect. For example, type 80, then press enter twice. Now, go to the bottommost part of the sub D object, hold Ctrl plus Shift, and double click one of the bottom edges to select all of them. Use the fill command, and in the command options, click on automatic, then press enter. Since the new faces will remain selected, immediately use the crease command to sharpen their edges. Finally, select the sub D object and use the offset sub D command. In the command options, set solid to yes, enter the desired thickness, and press enter. Now, for better presentation, press Ctrl plus Alt plus R to switch the display mode to rendered. Open the materials panel, click the new material icon, and select plastic. Then, select the object, right-click on the plastic material, and choose Assign to Object. In the plastic material settings, adjust reflectivity and clarity to control the light reflections. Next, use the Point Light command to create a light and place it wherever you want. Select the light, go to the Properties panel, and adjust the intensity to modify the brightness. Now, open the Rendering panel. In the Background section, enable Use Custom Environment for Reflections and click on the lower window to import an image from the library. Click Edit, and in the pop-up window, adjust the angle of the image to your liking.
Modify the material and angle until you get the desired look. Finally, go back to the rendering panel, enable ground plane, click on use material, and create a material for the ground plane in the lower window. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.